Hello everyone and greetings from the parish of Great Yarmouth. It's Helen here and um, I've just come in out from a beautiful sunny day. Hasn't the weather been gorgeous? I hope you're not struggling too much in the heat. Keep hydrated. <laughs> but um, just it's lovely to see the sun. And um, it's one of the benefits I think of living on the coast that even when it's hot we still have that lovely breeze you can see the tree blowing outside the window there um, and it's this weekend in the year when the Church of England and around this time of year particularly has lots of ordinations and today and tomorrow at the Cathedral in Norwich there will be people coming from all over the place to support uh, the candidates, the ordinands who are being ordained um, the priests are being ordained today and the deacons are being done tomorrow. So it's a real time of celebration, even if you don't personally know any of the candidates um, and even if uh, they're not coming to work with you. Um, it's, it's really important for the whole church to hold them in prayer and to um, kind of like take an interest because we are invested in them, even if it's from a distance and um, knowing that they have our support I think will help them. Um, I've, I've said it several times I think in sermons and things um, during the four years since I was in that position, where has that time gone? I don't know, that um, when they take the promises and say what they're going to do and people are asking them questions, will you do this and will you do that and will you do the other? And the answer is always, with the help of God, I will. And so it's a, a kind of an understanding that everything that we do in our lives and in our ministry, whether we're ordained or not, um, we do with God's help and through God's support. And also that kind of shows itself, I think, through the support from other Christians and other members of the worshipping community and around the diocese. And we can, I think, sometimes get a little bit... Um, a little bit busy with our own stuff that's going on in our own areas so it's a really good reminder that we're part of something bigger this isn't just the parish of great yarmouth as a kind of like standalone thing the parish of great yarmouth is part of the diocese of norwich is part of the church of england is part of the anglican anglican community is part of the whole of the christian church so um it really i think does us good to be reminded of that and to keep that in mind as we pray for them and um, pray for our continued ministry in Great Yarmouth. Um, I think they're, they're you know, I, I'm obviously moving on so you won't have a curate for a while but hopefully uh, in a year or two's time there might be another curate coming along um, and um, if, if you're looking back at this future curate it's a great place to train um, Great Yarmouth is because um, it's a community with big hearts and all sorts of wonderful things are going on in this parish, um, not just in the church, but in the wider community. So um, let's keep them in our prayers as well as we think about how we minister in this place, how we join in with what God is up to in Great Yarmouth, because by gum, there's a lot going on. So let's think about how we answer God's calling on our lives individually and as a community which won't necessarily lead to us being in a cathedral being ordained but will definitely lead us into ministry in one form or another so what's god calling you into this week answers on a postcard uh we've got services tomorrow at uh st mary's at uh, half past 10 and at the minster so it'd be lovely um if you can join us for worship um, but whatever you're up to this week, wherever you are, take care and God bless. Bye bye.